Hi, I'm Timo from Animo Solutions. Today I want to showcase you our stage two submission for the Sprint Funke project. In this stage, we have upgraded our UX and added way more flows for issuance and verification of credentials. So let's start with the onboarding. We have added some onboarding screens that explain more about what the wallet is and what you can do with it, specifically for users that are new to this concept. Go through these slides, and then we can get to the actual onboarding of our wallet and setting it up with a pin code and our EID card scanning. Now that we have set up our wallet, we'll get four credentials into the wallet. All trigger a different flow. We'll start with our stir ID. I'll use our Funka Playground, scan the QR code, and I can add the credential to my wallet. In most cases, however, you want the user to authorize in some sense. There's three ways you can authorize in our wallet, all having a different flow. The most simple one is using a transaction code. As you can see on the playground, there is now a transaction code on the screen. And when a user wants to receive the credential, they need to enter this transaction code, 2624. Usually you'll send this out of band and not on the same screen. Cool, now we already have two credentials in our wallet. It's starting to look nice. Next up, we'll trigger the external authorization flow. We'll again scan the QR code. And now to receive this credential, we need to authenticate externally. I've previously signed in, so I can just press continue and we'll get the credential issued. So finally, we want to get our driver's license in the wallet. I'll select the driver's license, create a QR code and scan it with the wallet. Continue. And before I can get the driver's license issued, I first need to present my PIT credential. So I can see here, to issue my driver's license, we need to verify your identity card. I can see which attributes from my identity card are requested, and then I can press share. I need to enter my PIN to share. And once it has shared uh, the PIT credential, it will automatically issue the driver's license to my wallet for Erica with a nice portrait picture of me. All right, so now we have five credentials in our wallet, ready to be shared. Right now we'll choose the rent a car use case, and in there we'll select the cheap cars presentation type. This one will trigger certain flows. We'll also trigger the OpenD Federation request type. I create a QR code and I scan it. As you can see, there's no trust approvals found. We can't be sure that this is a trusted organization. And if I continue, I can also see that there's a lot of attributes being requested, which triggers our AI over asking. This doesn't look good. I'm not going to share this data. What happens if we do get a valid request? Instead of the cheap cars request, I'll make a request from TurboKeys. I'll still use OpenD Federation and I'll create a QR code. I scan it with my wallet. And as you can see, there's now this is a recognized organization. I can see it's approved by the Chamber of Commerce, the Dutch Chamber of Commerce, as well as Trustpilot. I continue, and as you can see, there's now also a green check mark, which means that the AI hasn't detected oversharing. This looks good to me. I'll share it. I'll enter my PIN again. And we have successfully shared the data. The wallet, we can also see our previous activity. And for example, you have the exchange here with Turbo Keys. I can see which credentials have been shared at which time. But also, for example, that the sharing with cheap cards has stopped. We've done a lot of online verification flows. But now I've asked Anna to join me for an in-person verification. In the app, I can press scan QR code and I can choose to show my QR code. Anna has a verifier application where she can uh, make a specific request. For example, checking that I'm older than 21. She can scan the QR code in my wallet and then she can connect. Her wallet will send a request over Bluetooth to my wallet, which I can then view, just like on any of the online verification flows. And I can choose to share it. I press my pin again, and then it will send it to her wirelessly. She can see the picture, she can see the data, and she can see that it has been issued by a trusted entity. Today, I showed you our improved onboarding flow, receiving of the PIT and other QAAs, and both the in-person and online presentation flows. Thank you for watching.